Hello all you Arizona enthusiasts. Today I'm going to give you a video on the top five neighborhoods of Cornville, Arizona. Now if you've ever been looking at a map and seen Cornville, wondering where it is, wondering if maybe you'd want to live there, but what are the neighborhoods like, stay tuned because in this video I'm going to tell you all about it. <laughs> Arizona, well, I will teach you everything there is to know about living in the northern half of the state. So please do me a favor if you're new to the channel, hit the thumbs up button if you like the video, the subscribe, the notification bell, because what that does is lets other people who are looking for this type of content to find the channel, to find the video, and that will help them if they're looking for information on Northern Arizona as well. My name's Dawn Dickinson. I live in beautiful Sedona, Arizona, and I do sell real estate up here, mostly Sedona, Verde Valley, Flagstaff, and Prescott. If you have a real estate question, feel free to reach out to me. I love to talk to people about real estate or even Northern Arizona. My contact information is always in the description below where you can give me a call, text, email, or go to my website and schedule a 30 minute Zoom call or phone call because I would love to talk to you. So let me tell you a little bit about Cornville before I begin. Cornville is a very small town nestled in the heart of Verde Valley. Now Verde Valley is um, the five towns of Cottonwood, Cornville, Clarkdale, Camp Verde, and Rimrock. Uh, Cornville is kind of right in the center. It's between Cottonwood and Sedona. It's probably 15 to 20 minutes away from Sedona. A lot of people like to buy in Cornville for two reasons. One is because it's close to Sedona and they really like Sedona, but uh, two things keep them from buying in Sedona. One is it's just super expensive to buy a home in Sedona and second is there's just a lot of tourist traffic in Sedona so Cornville is a little ways away uh, not so many tourists and a smaller population so that's one reason that people like to buy homes in Cornville now Cornville is a very small town population is about 3,400 so very small the list I'm making I'm not going to use things like school district for criteria because all the kids will go to the same school. In fact, it's probably going to be Cottonwood or Sedona. Uh, there's an elevation of about 32, 25 above sea level, which gives it a nice temperate climate. There are about uh, 14 inches of rain each year and about two inches of snow, and that gives it a nice uh, temperate climate of maybe low in the winter time about 28 and high in the summer can be just above the 100 degree mark so nice climate nice small town atmosphere and it's close to Sedona and that's some of the reasons why people like to move to Cornville so let me tell you how I came up with this list of five neighborhoods um basically these are kind of my personal favorites so I'm not ranking them by school district or crime or anything actually uh, Cornville is so small it's hard to get information specifically on the neighborhoods. These are my favorites where I have shown homes or I've sold homes or um, I just see a lot of activity moving in the neighborhoods but they're also neighborhoods where I see homes that are very well maintained, well kept. The first one on the list I picked because it's an affordable alternative in Cornville. Now Cornville I want to say there's a vast variety of different homes. You have some neighborhoods that are you know a little bit older, a less expensive where you might have you know some mobile homes on land which could be a good choice for people for starter homes especially if you want a small home with land that you can have some chickens or something but some of those neighborhoods the homes aren't really kept up that well so I didn't include them on my list then you have some of these multi million dollar neighborhoods actually there's one neighborhood that I love Rancho Bonito that I didn't include because it's a small neighborhood and even though they're beautiful custom homes in the million dollar range on huge lots you're not going to see a lot of activity in there in fact recently they sold off the last lots uh, to put spec homes so I don't want to profile a neighborhood that you're not going to be able to find a house in you're going to fall in love with it and then there's going to be nothing for sale for two years so neighborhoods that are my personal choice well-kept homes homes in uh, nice Cornville neighborhoods. Those are the ones that have made the list and also subdivisions where you're seeing some good sales activity that if you decide you like it, you'd be able to find a home in there. So that's my list and I'm going to start with number one. So actually the top 
two neighborhoods in my list are in Verde Santa Fe. Now Verde Santa Fe, there are actually a couple of little subdivisions in there and I am going to profile two of the subdivisions in Verde Santa Fe. So I'm going to start with Verde Santa Fe Amante. Now these are nice homes in this little neighborhood. It's a little gated neighborhood. Hopefully I will remember the gate so I can get in and show you the footage. This is one of the more affordable but yet newer neighborhoods in Cornville. And when I say newer, a lot of the homes were built in the early 2000s, say, you know, 2002, 2004, up to the 2010. So you have uh, newer homes. Some of these are smaller, though. That's why they're more affordable. I'm seeing homes right now uh, listed in the high 300,000s to maybe the $500,000 range. So one of the more affordable for single family homes that is in the Cornville, Sedona area. A lot of the homes, I could say some of them are smaller, like the 11 to 1800 square feet but they're very nice well-kept homes most of them are stucco with uh, tile roofs some of them if they're positioned just correctly you'll be able to look out the window and see some of the red rocks in Sedona and on the other side you may see uh, Mingus mountain range and at night you might be able to see some of the lights of Jerome which is you know really nice uh, gives you a nice ambiance in your yard if you're able to see those a nice thing about these Cornville neighborhoods the Verde Santa Fe neighborhoods is it's on public water and sewer so you don't have to deal with the septic tank you don't need to have a septic tank inspection when you're buying or selling it's one of the last closer neighborhoods to Sedona or Cottonwood if you like to if you work in Cottonwood or Sedona so that's a plus it's the closest to the 89a and um, there is an HOA in there and I'm not going to quote you the HOA price because uh, some of the subdivisions might vary and I don't want to give you something wrong. So uh, Verde Santa Fe Amante is the first one on my list. Again, that's based on affordability and nicely well-kept homes. The second neighborhood I'm going to talk to you about today is also in Verde Santa Fe. It is the Verde Santa Fe Turnberry Estates. Now, I want to back up and tell you that all of the Verde Santa Fe homes neighborhoods are actually straddled around the La Privada Golf Course. And the La Privada Golf Course is a very nice, prestigious golf course in Cornville. One of the nice things, besides the beautiful greens, uh, and grounds, I should say, is that on one side of the golf course, you have views of Mingus Mountain Range, which is beautiful in the wintertime, but actually, you know, very nice to look at all year round. And on the other side, you may have some views of the Red Rocks of Sedona. So again, the Verde Santa Fe and especially the Turnberry Estates homes are kind of nestled around the La Privada golf course. And, and that's kind of a nice feature of the Verde Santa Fe neighborhoods. The second neighborhood, the Turnberry Estates, now we're at a higher price level. You have larger homes in here, Probably the majority of the homes are between 2,200 square feet and maybe 4,000. Of course, you can have some outlying that. And there's gonna be a price range of maybe starting in the mid 600s for the smaller homes and up to about the 900,000 range for the larger ones. Of course, there are outliers. You're gonna find some above 900,000, maybe even the million range, but the majority probably between 650 and 900,000 in the Turnberry Estates neighborhood. I say it's a newer neighborhood, and when I say that, I mean probably the early ones were started in about 2004, and right now there are some for sale that were just completed this year, brand new homes built in 2022. So again, a newer Cornville neighborhood. These all have public water and sewer, which is very nice. You don't have to do any septic tank inspections when you buy or sell a home. There is an HOA in the subdivision and I know there are very nice amenities. You may be able to use the clubhouse and some of the other amenities. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you inside one of the homes in the Turnberry Estates neighborhood so you can get an idea just what the homes look like inside, um, what some of the backyards look like, and uh, this one I'm going to bring you into. I'm just going to give you a very short uh, glimpse of the inside so you know what they look like for this house that is about to come on the market in Verde Santa Fe. Okay, right now I'm about to take you into one of these homes in Verde Santa Fe so you can just have an idea about what they look like inside. Now this particular one will be up for sale later in 2022, probably sometime after Thanksgiving but before the end of the year. So if you have questions about this one, certainly message me and let me know. But this is just to give you an idea of what the homes look inside here in the Verde Santa Fe neighborhood.
next I'm going to talk to you about the homes that are off Loy Lane. So Loy Lane is kind of in the center of Cornville. You take a turn going towards the west and there is this beautiful Loy Lane that has tree-lined streets and uh, they're beautiful green in the summertime and they turn yellow and fall off in the fall. So you get four seasons definitely in Cornville, but the Loy Lane homes, it's kind of nice because they're older homes. Some of them are custom. Actually, most of them are custom. Some of them are on acreage, kind of a little bit of a variety of sizes. Right now, there's only one for sale in the $700,000 range. These are probably older homes that could be built in the 80s, 90s, 2000s, you know, because they're custom. So they were started out at different times. Again, some are on acreage nice thing is they have public water but they're on a septic system and nice little neighborhood off Loy Lane sometimes it's called Oak Bend um, but this in the heart of Cornville but kind of tucked away so in this little neighborhood sometimes called Oak Bend some of the homes are older maybe built in the 80s and 90s 2000s but you can have newer homes in here all of them are custom some of them on acreage has a nice small town feel to it definitely have four, se four seasons here because uh, you have the beautiful tree-lined streets that are uh, vivid green in the summertime and turn beautiful colors of fall and eventually drop off in the wintertime. So beautiful hometown, small town feel in this Oak Bend community off of Lloyd Lane. So number four on my list is Oak Creek Valley. So here you actually go off into Page Springs. You drive in through the neighborhoods past the wineries, past the creek, and there's this little neighborhood tucked away in actually very close to the creek, uh, actually towards Sedona, if you're traveling towards Sedona, towards the 89A. And there are a couple of homes for sale in there right now that are in the five to six hundred thousand dollar range uh, most of these were built in the early 2000s kind of unique looking homes there is an HOA but it's not that expensive it might be in the 200s a month I, I would have to verify that for you if you're interested in them a uh, private water company this neighborhood does have two problems that might deter you from buying in here. One is that it's in FEMA flood zone AE. That The reason for that, of course, is it's very close to the creek, so I'm actually back to the creek. So you might require, you might be required to get flood insurance in this neighborhood. The other issue is cell coverage might not always be that good. About two years ago, I was showing a home in here and in Arizona, now realtors actually communicate with the lockbox to get the key with the cell phone. And I went into one of the houses and I could not not get my cell phone enough coverage to connect to the lockbox and I couldn't get the lockbox open to get the key out to get into the home now that's extremely embarrassing when you're standing outside with the client and you're like I can't open the door because I can't get the key open and that was because of bad cell coverage but it was a very cloudy day and sometimes that interferes with it I do have Verizon now very rare I can't get into a home but I did have that one issue in this neighborhood Oak Creek Valley and I don't know if that's still an issue today but the possibility of poor cell coverage and the fact that the neighborhood is in flood zone AE could deter you from buying in this nice little neighborhood. So the last neighborhood I'm going to talk to you about are homes off of the Mountain View Road. So this this is, there's no HOA, so it's really not an actual name for the neighborhood. It's kind of got some nicknames, but it's, if you're coming from Interstate 17 off of Cornville Road, actually is a little custom neighborhood before you get to the heart of Cornville. And when I say the heart of Cornville, you're going to laugh, but it's where, you know, there's the Page Springs exit, and then there's the nice G's hamburger and the liquor store and the the Dollar Tree store. So it's before you get to those. This neighborhood is actually off of Mountain View and it's on the south side of Cornville Road towards Mingus Mountain Range. These are large custom homes. A lot of them starting between maybe 2,400 square feet all the way up to 6,000 square feet. And of course they have a larger price tag to go with that. I am seeing homes in there right now starting at maybe $900,000 going all the way to 1.3 million. And of course, that's going to depend on the size of the home, the size of the lot, and how up to date the homes are in size. So this is a very nice neighborhood, not in a flood zone, but a lot of them are on a well. So that could be a deterrent for you that they're on a well. No HOA, so you can do whatever you want. And again, these are the homes 
no name neighborhood, but it's before you get into town, into Cornville on the left side towards Mingum, Mingus Mountain. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video of the top five favorite neighborhoods in Cornville, Arizona. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, notification bell, all that stuff. My name's Dawn Dickinson. I sell real estate here in Verde Valley, Sedona, Cottonwood, Cornville, Clarkdale, Camp Verde, Rimrock, also Flagstaff and Prescott. If you have a real estate question, feel free to contact me. My information is always below on how to get in touch with me phone text email or go to my website and get a an appointment for a zoom call or a phone call i post videos on northern arizona every single week so if you enjoyed the video i hope you subscribe and i hope you come back so i can see you again here next week